Plan Education Network coming at you all right now. And I wanted to introduce the Marva Collins Way book, um, Returning to Excellence. So I know that I'll be I'll be putting this on um, our Facebook page, which is Education Starts at Home. So hopefully you all go and um, invite yourselves or um, go ahead and sign up for that page, um, become members of that page, and you can get you know more updates and more information. So uh, Fun Education Network, subscribe, subscribe, press that subscribe button down there, and go ahead on, go ahead and head over to the Facebook page. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just skim through, do like a book um, walk. Um, so you know basically what you'll be looking for. And, um, uh, hopefully you read the whole book. If not, I understand. That's chapter 8. We'll go ahead to chapter 10 since I'm close to that chapter 10 right now. So basically, Mara Collins teaches phonics. And she also teaches the Socratic method. Um, well, she did. Um, she passed away. Um, but this is just going over some of the stuff that she talks about. There we go. And her, well, when she was in the classroom. Ugh, I'm sorry. But here you have it. So she went over. Um, a funny shit. So, and this is basically how it went. Um, right here, you can see. I'll start from right here. The children were learning their sounds um, each day in unison, like yog yogis chanting their mantras. The children followed Marva's lead, repeating the vowel sounds, the consonants, and the consonant blends: br, l, tw, spr. Uh, to a beat of one, two, one, two, three. They worked on the long vowel sounds A, E, I, O, U. I like reading. How about you? All right. Now, so if we go down, um, okay, jump into it. Vowel sound A in the word is eight. The vowel sound is A and the word is A. The vowel sound is A and the word is till. The vowel sound is A and the word is may. The vowel sound is A and the word is straight. The vowel sound is A and the word is A. The class picked up the rhythm. Um, so we're going to play and stay. Play and stay. They say, I see two vowels, one, two. I see two vowels, one, two. I see two vowels, one, two. And the A is A. I mean, and the sound is A. The word is P play. Heartbeat, heartbeat down here. Heartbeat, heartbeat. Buh, buh, buh. Giving different sounds. Cracking nut, cracking nut. K -k -k. Knock, knock on door, knock on door. Duh, duh, duh. And these are all funnest cards that she has and that are that you can find online. Um, out of order, but then it's fighting cat, fighting cat, <laughs> croaking frog, croaking frog, duh, duh, duh. running boy, running boy, <laughs> and they will go over these. She, she stated that you should do it, um, work your way up to doing 90 minutes a day, uh, so that's hour and a half, uh, and just you know, continue to work with the children over and over repetition. And as she goes to explain, it gets redundant. It gets boring, but you have to make it exciting for the children. You have to do it every day. Teaching these letter sounds are going to teach them to unlock words. Without these letter sounds, it's going to be hard for them to read um, in the long run. So uh, we, they, do a, um, they do a looks C method, which is they try to memorize, um, guess, play uh, what's going on on the on, on when when reading a word. You can't do that um, 
which is the dictionary set up in phonetic codes and um, the same thing goes for you know uh, learning words i mean if it's set up in that manner in a phonetic manner teach phonics to children but let me get to chapter 10 which is right here and just read this whole chapter i'm gonna like i said skim through um, she talks about it right here um, when she said you know um, what I do is here is no miracle, so you can do it too. I would tell my students, it's simply hard work. My feet are killing me. My throat hurts from talking. And when you're asleep, asleep at night, I'm preparing for your lessons. So, and here it talks about some of the chants and the reason why she said to teach um, a study um, of misreading errors made uh, by high school students, including students who had passed college entrance aptitude tests, showed that instead of reading Solomon, they read Salami. They misread delicacy and as delinquency, hurricane as hammer, groceryman as clergyman, inert as inherent. Um, So just, you know, check out, like I said, check it out. Um, and, you know, let me know what you think of it. Please leave comments on, you know, things that, that I sh share with you so that I, I can share more. Um, it says change in chord, change, change in chord. All right, so these are some of the fun, fun uh, chants that they do too. Um, let's see. Go and edge, go and edge. The vowel signal E changes the G to a J. Beg, beg, beige, beg and beige, gap and revenge. Cap and rice or can and nice. All right, so. Like I said, check this out. We're also going to take you to where they have the um, the book list, which is one of the best book lists that I've seen. So check that out, like I said. Um, you know, they have some questions in here. Check that out. Let me find the book list. It's in this section, so. You have to excuse me. Well, I thought they had a book list. Well. In, in the book, it does have a book list, so you might have to search for it yourself and check it out. I'm going to see if I can do another quick search and find it. Questions from parents. Questions from teachers. Yeah, I'm, I'm so... I'm not able to find a book list right now. Um, but once I find it, uh, what I'll do, I'll go ahead and um, do a screenshot of it and I'll post it again. Um, yeah, because I, I don't see it. I will post it again for you all. And, you know, just so it, it can give you a little bit of insight on what your ch children should be reading in mi middle school, elementary school, and high school, you know. So, Fun Education Network, please check this out. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you learned from it. Please subscribe. Peace, love, and subscribe. Thank you.